Dionysus Park was owned by Sophia Lamb, Chief. Sort of a private retreat for her social experiments. One night it flooded, killing all her guests. Paper said it was cult-related. Come on up to the train station. Let's rendezvous. The life of the people's daughter is in your hands. Well, I'm in. Yep, yours truly is the newest member of the Rapture family. I fed Wales a line about how the Tribune was stopping me from telling the people what's what. And without a word, he hands me an invite to this artist's retreat here at the park. Lamb bought my frustrated novelist act. She's even sponsoring me to ink it while I'm here. Except my story's all about her. And I don't think she's gonna like the way it ends. Get back! 
She's my little girl. Well, the good news is I've located a new train car, but the station's still locked down and we're not alone in here. I see a shadow in the security booth. I'll lay low while you have a gander. Oh, hello, boys. The name's Stan... Stan Poole, Rapture Tribune. Quality paper. <laughs> before the locals stopped reading and started finding, uh, other uses for it. Anyway, I'm, uh, looking to cut a deep... ...deal, fellas. Come by the train station. I'm here in the booth. Donna, listen. There's a hell of a structural flaw here in Dionysus Park. A leak in the primary drainage pipeline could flood this whole joint. Faulty pressure locks would seal in every sorry soul. One clumsy big daddy knocks open the wrong pipe and, hey presto, Lamb's little art show turns into Fish City. God forbid the wrong element finds out.
the other day at the Mill Go Round. I think you are very pretty. And I like your blue dress and the songs you sing about angels. My mom says your dad is scary, but I think he is strong and nice like a comic book hero. I got you a gift and put it in, in the basement where nobody will find it. The secret code for the door is one o eight o. I hope you like it. I will wave to you next time I see you, so you know it. It's me. I'm told that Lamb has been seen in the streets. One of the Alpha series was killed in the incident and his bonded sister was stolen. But the Council has no time for a manhunt. Atlas swells the ranks of his marauders by the day. Regardless, Lamb's name has already faded among the people. She is no more than a ghost who has forgotten to die. You don't even have to look at the baby. He won't even know it's there. Blackness! We were fighters! Dionysus Park was my home, Delta. An experiment in social unity cut short by human folly. You dishonor its memory with every step. Now that, see, Lamb knows you're here, but uh, I'm incognito. 
thing is, since you drained out the park, the little sisters are already starting to uh, nose around, looking for Adam, and uh, I can't have that.
his father and hurry. Mother can't hear this, but she's... She's looking right at me. And her face... Okay, so dead men tell no tales, right? <laughs> Wrong. See, with Adam involved, every stiff's got a story. And Lamb knows how to read it. If that stuff makes it back to her, I'm an obituary. So, I want you to take the story of Dionysus Park and bury it. Get rid of the little sisters for me. Your way. Do that, and I'll unlock the station here. <laughs> Scout's honor. Well, I'd say he's hiding something, but he sort of took the fun out of that one. He's locked in the security booth, however, so we'll have to play along. Find those sisters.
You mistake my nature, Delta. I wish no Adam for myself. Eleanor is the dream, and she needs neither weapons nor parlor tricks. learn to play poker, Eleanor. Like anyone, I am flawed and have a fierce genetic bias towards competition. <laughs> but each Saturday, I read the other players, and I pick a man who will benefit the most from victory. By the final hand, I ensure that he takes home my entire stake and that of the others. I win nothing but the feeling of conquest over myself and the wealth of my competitors is slowly reshuffled according to their needs. She is. Little Tyke wants to be in pictures. <laughs> Real cute. Now get rid of the muscle and deal with her.
See? You put it at work, and all that Adam ends up in you. But you're sort of a, a silent partner. So that's tops with me. Audrey, Michelle, Peter, Thomas, William, hello. You deranged What's this, little daddy? The genius of Sophia Lamb is a thing of empathy. A profound moral sense. I can only describe her as a kind of secular saint. But dividing her loyalty evenly across the world at large spreads it so thin as to be invisible to some. Love, I have found, is beneath her. Naturally, Ryan arrested her, gave her to Sinclair to incarcerate somewhere. But upon her escape, she took the city and changed my life forever.
sisters are getting older, which is troubling. As they reach adolescence, they become aggressive, feral. Worse, the atom they ingest contains traces of lethal plasmids left over from the war. The splicers are becoming far more effective predators as well. Our big daddies are falling left and right. Perhaps, perhaps the elder sisters could be trained to sniff out the lost atom and reclaim it for us. Yes, from what I've seen, they certainly wouldn't have to wait for the culprit to die. Gotta rebuild this place. Gotta rebuild the population first.
He was trying to ruin her. You okay there? Keep your eye on the brass ring, brother. Find the rest of the sisters. Subject Delta's just a serial number, amigo. I did a lot of digging on you for a feature once. They used to call you Johnny Topside. Found the city all on your own in a diving bell. Real shame what they did to you. Where? Oh, no. 
she is, get her. I hope that bodyguard got ain't one of your long lost.
taking me home too? he had done. He panicked, took me away and sold me to an orphanage. I tried to fight back. I remember biting his hand, but... Father, he's the reason I was turned into a little sister.
now. You were just a deep sea explorer with iron cojones, pal. The public gave it a nickname. But Ryan was sure you were a spook. So his people locked you up. Eric your damn name. Goodbye, Johnny Topside. Hello, Subject Delta. Adam is Rapture Delta. The finest minds of paradise in a single sublime mosaic. Eleanor. Consider the genius you deny her with every stolen drop. When all this is over, and we're divvying up Rapture's bounty, you and I'll be holding court on a private island, son. Think of it. Each world power on bended knee, holding a bouquet made of money. The girls you've saved from Mother want to thank you. Check the Gatherer's Garden.
Cindy by this this rusted carousel. But she was just standing there, staring, waiting for the music. And she doesn't even recognize me. What have they done to her? Listen to her. The man in the moon is a girl, Mr. Bubble. Listen, if anyone hears this, I have to know how to cure her. I... No! Get back! She's my little girl! just let mother's followers turn into animals. When word came that she was returning, he knew they would blame him. So he found a way to silence them all. And now he's trying to cover it up. That's it. Now all that old dirt stays underground and Lamb will be none the wiser. Hey, come on back. I've unlocked the train for you. But remember, if Lamb catches you, Mum's the word. Delta, our conflict of interest seems to be upsetting Eleanor. For her sake, I have made it clear to these men that you are not to suffer. I accept full responsibility for any anger you may experience before you die. Through Adam, Eleanor will become the daughter of the people, a true utopian, brilliant beyond measure, but utterly selfless. As she ascends, Delta, you and I will seem as dogs, circling and snarling amid the afterbirth. Doc Lamb's turning up the heat, Chief. 
Head on back to the train station. Let's hit the trail. Subject Delta, I have known for years of Stanley's betrayal here, and had forgiven him. But in compromising Eleanor now, he seals his fate. You see, it was Stanley who turned you into Ryan. He is responsible for what you have become. The security booth is open now. You may have your revenge. Sweet Jesus. Lamb, no! And she just let me hang myself out the... Oh, God! No, no, no. Come on, pal. The, the, the train's ready! Just... Just let me live! Oh, Christ, I, I swear it wasn't personal, okay? Don't... Don't... Please! 